Hey learners, welcome back to Xfully, excited for learning. So today we are going to do Balloon Buster 1 project with Prachita. Okay, so let's get started. This is my project. Okay, and um, this is the specific task to complete. Okay, so let's read the specific task to complete first. Set the background to show a playground. Make it a moving background by giving it giving velocity x to the background. Create the sprites for balloons. Using a for loop, make rows of balloons of different colors. You can create three or four lines of balloons with different colors. Create a bow sprite. Make the bow move up and down with the mouse mouse using mouse y in draw. Reset the background's position when the background crosses half its width. Okay, this gives the infinite scrolling effect. Click on run once to check if it is working. Yes. Now, and this is the pictures that they have given. If you go in the hint section, you can see use the image in the assets. Okay, so... um. Here is the images. I have just clicked on um, the like I have clicked on this and then this came. So these are the PNGs for all the sprites like arrow sprite PNG, blue, blue balloon PNG, bow PNG, likewise. Okay, so now this is our project. So as you can see, I'm moving my mouse up and down, and with my mouse also the bow is moving. They have said, right? They said that you should um. Create a bow, make the bow move up and down with the mouse using mouse Y in draw. Okay. Okay. So, first, let's get into the project. Okay. So, first, we have to create variables. Now, let us see how to insert the background first and then the bow and then the red balloon. Likewise. So, first, we have to create for a variable for background image. Okay, we need a place to store the PNG of for the background. Like, see, now this PNG, we have to store it somewhere, right? So, where will we store it? We have to store it in this, in this um, variable background image. Okay, so first we have to create the variable background image. And then we have to preload it or load the images inside background image. So, background image equals to load image brackets background 0 dot png. Now, how will you know which one is the like um, pngs for what? So, once um, you can go in assets and you can see this is the png that we need. Okay. So, background 0 dot png. As you can see here, background 0 dot png. This is the png for the background. So, that's what you need to use. Okay. Next, um, we have loaded the image. So, uh, we have to load the image like this. Like background image equals to load image background 0.png. Okay. Next, we have to create canvas is already given. Okay. So, you don't need to do anything with create canvas. Okay. Next, we have to create background. Create sprite. So, background equal to create sprite 0, 0, 600, comma 600. Now, as you can see, the canvas is 600, 600. That means the width of the canvas is 600. And the height of the canvas is also 600. So, it's a square canvas. Okay. So, as you can see, it's a square canvas. We have to create background. So, background, that means that the whole canvas should be filled with that picture. Am I right? Yeah. But, um. That's the reason you have to start at 0, 0. That means 0, 0 is right here. Top uh, top left corner. Okay. So, and then the background just prints it like this. Like 600, 600 is the canvas. So, it inserts the image and 600, 600. That means it covers the whole canvas. Okay. So, we have created the sprite. Now, um, if you create the sprite and do not keep background, I mean image, then it would be just like a plain thing i'll show you suppose like this and i'll show you what will happen see now we have not added image as you as you know 
that any image that is not having an animation looks like a gray thing square actually but i have scaled it to 2.5 and it's covering the whole canvas so it looks like this right we know this right any sprite without having any animation looks like a gray square or a rectangle according to whichever measurements you give now you will see it's perfect now we can see the background so what is the purpose of the function background dot add image that means we add the image to the back like background dot add image and background image so what is this background image in brackets so we have to add image background dot add image we have to add the image as background but we have to have the png for that and where did we store the png in the preload we have stored background image in in uh, we have stored background 0.png in the variable background image so now we'll use it in function setup like this so background dot add image background image so the place we store the png is background image and now background we have to add the background as background image get it yes now we have to scale it background dot scale equal to 2.5 now if you keep it one which is a regular background it is it will become smaller because 2.5 is more see now the background is so small and it's getting repeated because the background is not being able to apply over here so that's the reason we need to scale it otherwise it will not look properly okay it's 2.5 sorry 2.5 yes perfect okay so we have created the background now okay so and then we have to actually do one more thing right in the code we have to make the background moving yeah we have to make the background moving so how we'll do that so now we're going to finish the whole background thingy and then let's go move on to the next step so background dot velocity x equal to minus 3 that means the x velocity of the background is minus 3 as you know minus 3 means it will go back background will go back and plus 3 then the sprite will go forward that's the reason the background will go back because we get minus 3 next if background dot x less than 0 the symbol as you can see this is the less than symbol and I'll show you what is a greater than symbol so this is the uh, no, actually shift and um, full stop means this is the greater than symbol okay this um, crocodile mouth if you can say that so this is a greater than symbol and that was the less than symbol less than symbol is shift and comma okay fine if background dot x less than zero then what will happen let's see if background dot x less than zero that means um less than zero as in it will never be able to be seen right it it's more out from the canvas so we'll not be able to see the background that is when background dot x less than zero then the brace bracket background dot x equal to background dot width divided by 2 okay so if you don't have this function let's just say we backspace this now let's see what will happen now you can see that it's just moving like this we can see that we can immediately see the difference right now it's just like this there's nothing like playground effect now control Z now let's see what will happen now you can see that the playground will be going forever so what is happening actually I'll explain so the background is going out of the screen like out of the canvas and then a half again one more half of the background is joining so it will look like the background is moving as you can see there's some part of um, right here you can see that some part of like plain thing is coming and then half of the background is again being joined to it 
okay so that means that background dot velocity x minus 3 we understood this because it should go back okay if background dot x less than 0 that means if the background goes out of the canvas then what should happen background dot x equals to that means the background should again be joined um, equals to background dot width divided by 2 2 that means half of the background should be again joined when, uh, now we understand that again half of the background should be joined background dot x equals to background dot width divided by 2 width divided by 2 means the backgrounds half okay width of the backgrounds half okay understood now again whenever um, the background is going behind 0 like it's going minus 1 minus 2 like that before it goes minus 1 then again one more half of the background is getting joined again so it will look like a continuous background okay now we under we are done with the background so now we have set the background now we have to create the bow so for bow we need two variables for background background is already an inbuilt one but background image we have to create but bow is not an inbuilt one and bow image is also not an inbuilt um, code so that's the reason we have to add two variables bow and bow image we have to create the variables and now we have to preload it that means we have to load the background png like the png of the back a uh, bow sorry png of the bow in a variable okay so bow image equals to load image brackets board 0 dot png okay that means that we are loading this image in bow image variable okay so bow 0 dot png is in bow image right now okay so how will you find the png of bow i'll just show you bow so bow 0 dot png this is a png for the bow see bow 0 dot png and you can see that this is the bow this zoom in yeah this is the bow <clears throat> right now next we have to now we have loaded the image that means we have stored the image bow 0 dot png in bow image okay we have to now create sprite bow equal to create sprite 480 comma 220 comma 20 comma 50 that means 20 comma 50 are the measurements of the like 20 is the width and 50 is the height okay now if you keep 20 20 then it will be like a small short one oh okay we have to scale it it doesn't really matter what you keep in the width and the height the only thing that matters is the bow dot scale any time in animation if you change the width and the height um, in the create sprite it won't change only you have to use the function or the code bow dot scale equals to okay now if you want to increase it now this is a bigger bow okay so i'll keep it one again yeah now it's now it's perfect then bow dot add image bow image now we have stored bow in the bow png bow 0 dot png in bow image we have loaded it inside that right now we have to apply that now we will keep in brackets bow image okay so now we have to add the image bow image which is the png as bow okay understood so now we are adding the image png in that okay so first we have to preload it bow dot scale equals to one that means you are scaling the bow now we have to create we are done with the bows now we have to make the red balloon now we have to create two variables red balloon and red balloon image red underscore balloon and, and then comma red underscore balloon image okay so as it is the same thing balloon red balloon 
image equals to load image and we are storing the red ball balloon 0 dot png in the variable red balloon image okay next we have to create a loop right <coughs> so for variable i equal to 60 that means variable i that means the starting point of the balloons starts from 60 okay next that um so uh, we already know the loop right because um there was like vegetable garden 1, vegetable garden 2 using loops. Just same thing. So I'll just show it again. Now it's not 60 but 100. Now you can see that the red balloon loop has been gone down. That means I is the starting point of the loop. Okay. Now we want it little up. Okay. So I'll keep it 60 again. Right. Now I less than 390 that means we have created a wall over here now if you increase this not 390 but let's say 500 because the canvas is not 400 600 remember that so we can keep 500 now there's more balloons okay because we have extended the wall little more down we have moved the virtual wall for the loop little more down so now it is able to make another few more balloons okay so this is the restriction now i should not be more than 390 okay so if you make not 390 but 600 then the balloons will be covered till the whole canvas okay so this is a virtual wall which we cannot see but the computer has to follow it okay next i equal to i plus 60 what does this mean let's just find out not 60 but 100 now the gap between each balloon has been increased now we can understand that um i equal to i plus 100 that means the gap between each balloon 100 is the gap which we have increased now if we keep 60 or let's say let's keep 20 and you can see that the balloon are overlapping between each other and the balloon has been increased like more balloon quantities there because um, in less space there can be more balloons now there's the same space now we keep let's say 100 again now there are less balloons because this gap between each balloon has been increased but the wall like the 390 has not been increased so they have to congest themselves inside the same 390 that's the reason there's less balloons now this perfect it's just like they're aligned to each other they're just touching each other okay red balloon equal to create right now you have to create the sprite red balloon and now next 50 comma i comma 1 comma 1 so 50 comma i it means 50 is the x position and i is the y position now suppose let's say i plus um let's say 30 let's see what will happen the whole loop has been gone down that means y position of the first one has gone down so this is the y position of the loop you understand now so y position means the starting point of the loop so there's two ones so anyway the, so i we have defined as 60 right so here it's following the same thing 60 so y means the um vertical side as you increase y then as the thing will go down like the sprite will keep going down okay so we have kept the i 60 that means it's replacing i as 60 first okay and then the next time it will read it will read it as i i equal to i plus 60 that means the next time it will read 120 and the third time it will read it as 180 because first 
it will read it as i it will just replace it like i equal to 60 so it will just replace i to 60 next we said that i equal to i plus 60 so the next time it will read the first number plus 60 so which is 120 and the third time it will read 120 the previous number plus 60 180 that's how the loop works okay so we understand and one and one even though you keep 100 and 100 it doesn't change at all because the main thing that we need i'm just see it doesn't change the main thing is that you have to change it red balloon uh, dot scale equals to now you might see like this is in a decimal so that means it's less than one if you keep one it's very this uh this is a very gigantic balloon okay so that's the reason you have to keep 0 0.1 then it will be perfect all these balloon pngs are really big i think except one yeah pink balloon is small uh, is a small png but rest all are very big okay that's the reason you have to do like this and now red balloon dot add image we where did we load our image red balloon in, um, where did we load the png we have loaded it in red balloon image so now we are going to add that image okay understood it's the same thing now i'll just discuss the next one and then rest all are the same thing okay because there's a difference between i over here and then even this is different and even the first number over here so i'll just discuss the second one and then rest all like it's the same okay so for variable uh, for loop again variable i equals to 110 now why because the first time it's starting like this and then the next time it's little shorter and the next time it's even shorter then it's going even down 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 because we are reducing the number of balloons we want it like a triangle pyramid okay or a triangle we want it to be reduced so first time it's like this then second time like this and third it should be even less like that so that's the reason we are going to increase i because as you increase y the thing will go keep going down the sprite okay so um, now we have kept it a little more down because we want the loop to be started from here not from here if you keep the same 60 then the loop will be like starting from the same place where the red is starting see same place but we don't want that we want it to be a little down that's the reason 110 see now next i equals to less than 300 that time it was 390 but now it's 300 why because we want less balloons to be seen and it should be like a triangle again i'm saying it should be like a pyramid or a triangle like like that so that's the reason we have to decrease the i mean in, decrease the wall so first the wall was right here now it's little more up why because we want it like first it should be like this then like this like this like this so the wall should also be increased for the second loop and the, for the blue balloon loop, the wall, like now 300 will be 250. The wall will go even up. And for pink balloon, it will go even, even up. Okay? It's like that. And lastly, 60. 60 is the same thing. Because the gap between each vegetable, I mean each vegetable, no? each balloon should be the same. Okay? Because we want it like exactly like tailed one balloon should be connected to one another but we don't want the gap should be increased between each balloon so that's the reason it's the same number 60 okay same 60 now green balloon equal to create sprite 100 now why are we keeping this 100 exposition now if you keep this as 50 now that's what will happen now the balloons are overlapping the red balloons green balloons are overlapping the red balloons why because this is the exposition first number in create sprite is the exposition right and you have kept the same exposition for both of them that means they are overlapping we want them to be little have a gap between each loop right so that's the reason we need to increase the number 
of x position now if you keep let's say 100 now let's see what will happen now it's perfect this gap between red balloon loop and the green balloon loop if you increase it to be like um 400 see the loop is over there now totally um outside like that's the reason it should be perfect so we have 50 gap between each balloon loop okay and then scale i've discussed and add image now the same thing for the pink balloon and the red balloon okay so um uh, so it's the same thing now this uh, first we have kept 50 gap so uh, it's it, if you you have to just experiment this first you have to add a little more or less and whatever you feel perfect you can do that okay so they have never said that you should have the this the proper measurements should be this only you just experiment i liked it this way if you want a balloon loop to be more and the green loop to be less it's your wish it's just experimenting you experiment each number and get it now we know the idea so it will be even easier now pink balloon blue balloons do the same thing next i um bow i didn't say how to move it according to the mouse it's a simple code bow dot y that means the y position of the bow that means up and down equals to world mouse dot mouse y that means the according to the mouse's y position okay if you move it like this like this it won't matter okay but if you move like this like this it will okay so y position of the mouse equals to bow position of the uh, y position of the bow okay so if you move it right here then um it's just like it's following the y position of the mouse okay y position as in the place where it's like up and down okay and lastly draw sprites so draw sprites we know that to create all of these sprites we need this if we don't have this i'll i'll comment it nothing will be seen you can see because now background is also a variable before background wasn't a variable so even though you <coughs> didn't have draw sprites you would be able to see the background but now background is a variable so you are not even able to see the background okay so this was the project and it's p5 editor this time not code.org so p5 editor is little more hard because we have to type every single thing not like we have the blocks or anything like that okay but still <clears throat> this was um this was good and if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to watch all our videos and if you have any doubts or questions regarding any of the projects, please comment it in the comment section below. Thank you.